Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, your girl I do with another video. Yay! We are rolling, we are rolling, we are rolling, 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 rolling. So Thank you so much for stopping by for another video. If you do not know me or if this is your first time watching me, my name is Aija. I am pleased to meet you. So today's video is a highly recommended video or a highly asked video from you guys. Most of you guys have been asking me what do you do to control oil underneath your makeup just so that your makeup can last a little longer. So I decided to put together this video for you just so that you can have your makeup last a little longer just so that you can look fabulous even in the next four to five hours. So if you're one of those people with oily skin or if you're one of those who live in an area that is so hot such that when you put on your foundation your face look greasy after maybe two to three hours then this video is for you. So stay tuned and I will talk to you at the end of this video because you're going to learn something from this video. So make sure you stick to the entire video. So in this video I'm going to share with you guys some of the tips or some of my tips that I use in order to control oil. But before you want to apply anything on your face, you have to make sure that you have a good base. You have to wash your face, you have to, you know, if you have to scrub, you scrub, if you have to exfoliate, you exfoliate. And after you do that, you want to make sure that you use a good moisturizer. Moisturizer, in as much as you may have an oily skin, you need moisturizer at the end of the day. And if you're looking for a good moisturizer, I have been using the one by Lowell. I'm sure most of you guys have seen me use that before. I'm going to leave a, a picture of it somewhere on the screen just so that you know and um, I've, been, I've also been recently loving this one right here and this is the Clinique Even Better Skin Tone Correcting Moisturizer so this is not just a moisturizer but it also helps to correct or even out your skin tone it's a little bit on the pricey side but if you want to try it you can definitely try it be my guest and let me know what you think about it but if you've been using it let me know what you think about this particular product and I really really do love it because it leaves your skin really moisturized and it also leaves your skin soft and it feels so nice so that's what I've been using so after you apply a moisturizer you want to make sure that you use a primer now a primer is something that you need if you have an oily skin because it's going to help your makeup last a little longer for oily skin I will recommend you to use a mattifying primer there are many primers out there that you can use but when you go to look for a primer make sure you look for the one that is mattifying that means that it keeps your face matte as much as possible it's going to help reduce the oils that come off from your skin so the one that I will recommend is the one by Becker and this is the ever matte poreless priming perfecto you can get this from Sephora this primer is really really nice for oily skin and it really helps to keep down to tone that to tone down the oil as much as possible now if you don't so what if you're one of those who one of us who don't know how who don't have money to split or something like this you can definitely get um the one from smashbox smashbox has a very good primer as well um there's one by Maybelline. Maybelline has a very good primer as well. So you can definitely check them out and, you know, try it. And there's also one by Revlon. So I'm going to leave the images somewhere on the screen so you know which ones I'm talking about, just so you don't get confused. So it's very important to use a mattifying primer. A mattifying primer will help your makeup last a little longer and it's going to tone down the amount of oil that you produce or that um, comes out from your face at the end of the day. The primer that I'm going to use, I'm going to use this one by Becca. Now you just, um, with this one you have to like tap it into your skin. Like you don't rub it all over. So I'm just applying it just on the areas that I normally produce more oil. And which is around my T-zone. And then on my forehead as well. So I'm just tapping it in. With this primer you don't rub it in, you have to tap it in so that it goes right into your skin. And there's another trick which I'm going to share with you guys. I'm, I'm sure that most of you guys already know about that. But if you also want to make your foundation, have your, have your makeup look as flawless as possible without the greasiness or without the oiliness, you can also use a, um, you can also use a setting powder before you apply your makeup. Now there's this one in the drugstore that you can get and this is the Air Spawn Loose face powder this one right here it's very inexpensive you can get this from walmart and you can get this from any other 
um, from the drugstore you can get this from Target or something but this is really really nice I've been using this a lot lately just to control oil on my face and this is it comes with a powder puff like this so you just apply it all over your face just a generous amount you don't it doesn't have to be a lot once you apply it all over your face then you should be good like basically like so so it takes away all the oil before you apply your foundation you can use any any other kind of setting powder that you use that, that you have in order to um, achieve this um this step so you want to make sure that the foundation that you're using is mattifying as much as possible now i cannot stress this enough because we have so much um foundations out there they say it's oil free but technically it's not oil free so you have to find a one that you know for sure is oil free now there are a couple of them i'm going to um show you guys this is the one by lower and this is their infallible pro matte foundation this foundation is really matte and then there is also this one by maybelline that i have used on this channel a couple of times and you guys have heard me talk about it and this is the maybelline super stay full coverage um foundation this one right here now if you have some money to split you also want to try the one by fenty beauty and um this is the one i'm going to be using in this video because why not I just love it so um fenty one is also very very matte you could try it if you have money you could try it it's really really nice as a mattifying foundation just in case you want to know i'm using 385 and um 400 and then uh, one other thing that i wanted to let you guys know it's um something that has been working for me and i'm sure that most of you guys have seen a video on this particular um item and this is the make of this is the milk of mag magnesia now i use this a lot when i want my foundation to last me a very long time if i know i'm going for an event that i may go off maybe more than eight hours i use this i just apply it all over my t-zone that is my forehead over my nose because that's where i normally produce oil and when you apply it you have to leave it to dry when it dries down it's like whitish that's how it should normally be so you just apply it you leave it to dry before you put on your foundation but this is really really nice i know so it'll be like milk of magnesia yeah but this works like crazy if you want your foundation to last you like more than eight hours try this and your mouth to tell me thank you after so if you've tried this before leave me a comment down in the comment section and let me know um i think one of these days i'm going to do a video on that so you guys see exactly what i'm so I'm just going to jump right now and i'm going to apply my concealer i'm going to highlight i'm going to do all of that good stuff and come back just so that we wrap up this video now if you're one of those who use um concealer like myself to highlight um, certain areas of my face you want to make sure that you set your concealer you cannot just put your concealer and you just go about your business like that because it's going to crease now there are a couple of um setting powders out there that you can use and there's no particular one that's for oily skin or something that which i mean for now i don't know but um you can use whatever so um, i'm going to use this one here by fenty beauty and this is um fenty beauty this is the this is the banana setting powder this is how it looks i didn't i did a video on this already so i'm just going to use this to set the places that um i highlighted so what i do is i just take my sponge i put it in there then i'm going to tap off the egg then i'm just going to place it into my skin you can use your normal powder to set your entire face just so that everything is locked in and it's going to make your help your, your makeup last a long time without giving you the oily or the greasy look. Now, the Max Fix Plus is not a good setting spray for oily skin. If you have oily skin, please keep away from this setting spray. Max Fix Plus it makes your causes your makeup to look dewy and once that happens and then you still produce more oil it's just going to make you look even more greasy so if you want if you want to you know look flawless for a long time um without your skin looking all so you know oily stay away from mac um, fix plus you can use mac fix plus for different stuff or maybe before you even apply your foundation but applying it after your foundation as a setting spray as an entire setting spray it makes it seriously it's not a good setting spray for oily skin i know some of you guys might have heard different stuff but 
effect honestly i have used this a couple of times and i have seen the difference when it comes to my makeup it really makes me look very very dewy and then when i produce more oil it just makes my face look so oily so if you can stay away from max fix plus it will really help your makeup look much better and last a little bit much longer so the setting spray that i'll advise you to try is the one by smashbox i don't have any right now mine is finished and you can also try the one by um by morphe morphe has a very nice beautiful setting spray i don't have any here that i want out as well so for this video i'm going to use this one by uh, maybelline and this is the master fix setting spray i'm just going to use that to set my entire face you can set your face two three times it's up to you how much you want your makeup to last it, it's up to you. I normally set my face like twice. So I'm just going to. And one thing you should know about setting spray. Setting spray is very nice because it locks in everything and then it also takes away the powdery look on your face. So your face doesn't look like, you know, powder, powder and things like that. So setting spray is really, 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 really nice. So if you, you're one of those who don't use it, and you normally wear foundation and all those other things it will be advisable for you to try using a setting spray to set up everything because it really makes a whole lot different so guys here we go this is the finished look i hope you're able to learn something from this video i hope you're able to take something home and um, if i was able to answer some of your questions leave a comment for me in the comment section below just so that i know i was able to meet some of those needs and um, if you're out there you know um, some other ways that I did not mention in this video on how to control all on how to make how half of our makeup last a little bit much longer just so that we don't have a greasy or oily face at the end of the day please leave a comment down in the comment section below just so that we can learn from you as well so thank you all so very much for watching this video if you're not part of the family yet we'd love to see you come up we'd love to see you come up for another video so hit on the subscription button i trust you're going to do that right now thank you so much for subscribing and do not forget to hit on the bell button so that when i upload you will be notified so thank you so much for watching this video until then Take good care of yourself and remember, you are the original. Thank you and ciao.